Coming up on American Builder, Gurry goes green. Don't know a lot about solar, but I feel like I'm going to by the end of this. As a solar dependent home is on the rise. We have 42 of those panels going wow. on this roof to see how their project stands up to others from across the globe. We wow. built it completely in Germany and then we took the house apart in three pieces. The tools, the technology, the reality. How is the trip down? Because I came by plane, so. Oh, I... American Builder starts right now. Hey, it's Brian Gary. Welcome to the American Builder. I'm down in D.C. We're at the Solar Decathlon. We've had 20 homes here being built. It's all about solar energy. We actually followed a team from MIT back home from start to finish. So before we take you to the end of this and give somebody some big award for winning, let's go back to Boston and follow it from the ground up, learn a little bit about solar energy. Hey Kurt, how's it going? Hello Brian, how are you? Good, I don't know anything about what we're doing today. I know it's MIT and the soul of the Capilon. This is the first MIT contribution to the uh, Department of Energy Solar Decathlon, and they invite 20 universities to the National Mall to compete in a solar home off-grid design that's scaled to provide enough electricity to power not just a solar home, but also an electric car. This is completely solar, everything. Power, heat, that's right. It's a real home, and you gotta move it. We have to break it into at least three parts. We've got a mechanical room that'll go on one flatbed, a kitchen dining room area that'll go on another one, and then the office bedroom section that'll go on a third truck. I see you have 10 things that you judged on, the car being one of them, and here's your 10 right here. The first two are subjective. Architecture and marketability are judged by a, by a jury. The rest of the challenges are quantitative. We get metered on hot water, we get metered on comfort zone. Don't know a lot about solar, but I feel like I'm going to by the end of this. I'm gonna grab Tom inside, take a tour, and uh, we'll catch up to you later on. Okay, thanks, Brian. Thank you. Yep. Hey Tom, how's it going? Good, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we're both contractors, but you do something that I know nothing about. I decided a few years ago that I wanted to build better buildings, get involved in building energy efficient buildings. Did some solar stuff back in the early 80s when there was still tax incentives around. I'm actually gonna go down to DC when this is done, so I'm gonna actually get to see the before, the during, and really the after, so I'm looking forward to it, yeah. yeah. Let's go inside and take a look. Sounds good. This is gorgeous. It's called an alfresco door, the hardware from a half floor company. Okay. Uh, we had this custom made, obviously. Tom, it looks like a modern day glass block here. We've actually named it a warm light wall. Okay. And the outside of this block is actually an aerogel product, which gives you an R value of nine. And the idea behind it is that uh, the water shines through, warms up that water, acts as a storage mechanism for your, uh, for your water, and then it transfers the heat into the house. Really? Yeah. Seems like we could have thought of this a long time ago, some of these things. Everything you do has to do with solar and energy and the house being self-sufficient, including the flooring. So this is a product called Warmboard. It's a radiant heating system. Back here is a mechanical room. Bathroom and mechanical room. That little mechanical room there is going to contain a giant hot water tank for storing all our hot water. Tom, this is one of the panels that's going on the roof. Yep. How many of these? We have 42 of those panels going wow. on this roof. Maximum peak load, we get about 225 watts out of each panel. Orientation is real important in how they face. They gotta be facing south. Um, obviously, you want the right angle of your roof right. to maximize the efficiency of these things. What about a cloudy day? Because that's always somebody's question on, on, as far as solar goes. It's sure. cloudy for three days straight. How are we doing? It's producing a little bit of power. In our case, we're storing it into batteries. Oh. We have a series of batteries um, that we're storing all the excess, all the energy gets converted and stored into a battery, and then we draw off those batteries when we need our power. 
Not as much as it would obviously on a summer day, and they actually produce more in the winter. Is that right? Yeah. Why is that? Uh, it's the intensity of the sun. Cool. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm starting to get there. That's the electrical. Let's head towards the hot water system. Okay, sure. I've seen enough that this is definitely the most up and coming because everybody has them, likes to play with them. We're mounting two of these systems on our south side and this is going to provide us all the hot water and the radiant heat system that we need to, to, to heat this house. Basically this is a thermos bottle on the outside, it's yep. got a vacuum between it right? and then it's got a metal coating on the inside that captures the heat. This tube right here, this is actually a heat transfer. This is nothing more than a copper tube. That's it. This is where your actual energy comes out of and what they've done is in, inside of this, there's a drop of water placed in a vacuum, yep. which allows it to boil at a very low temperature. In a vacuum, it allows that water to boil at about 85 degrees. Really? So that water boils, it comes up to the top of this little condenser, yep. which is actually, you know, as you leave it out in the sun, it gets pretty hot. Yep. The water flows around this condenser, mm -hmm. transfers the energy to the water. The drop of water drops back to the bottom and just starts the process all over again. Well, Tom, you're starting to educate me on solar homes, but someday I'll get there. Um, we'll check back with you. Thanks for the tour. Great. Thanks for your look, time. Look and uh, you. looking forward to this thing being done. When we return, Brian learns how the sun's energy is captured and where it's stored. Thanks. You've completely lost me at this point, but let's just go look anyway. American Builder lights up after this.